Hey, in this episode of Doc's Boost, we're going to talk about fuel line. We're going to talk about PTFE, two versions, and we're going to talk about push lock hose. And we're going to show you what kind of fittings go with each one of those types of hoses. Hi, I'm Doc, and you're watching Doc's Boost. Dream it, <laughs> build it, and drive it like you stole it. <laughs> The first kind of hose I got for you is PTFE hose with the inner core. And you can see that inner core, Teflon inner core, in two versions. The steel braided and the cloth braided. This one is not so user friendly and I highly recommend this instead. But you can't take away from the aesthetic value here. But I'm telling you, those wires hurt. <laughs> And it's really hard to avoid getting punctured by those, <laughs> by those wire fibers. These two hoses, you can run any kind of fuel you want. Pump gas, E85, ethanol, methanol, whatever you want. You can run through these types of hoses. <laughs> and I already told you that this one's not so user friendly. This one is highly recommended. The cloth protects you even though there is wire inside of there. I don't know if you can see that. There is wire inside there and it can get you, but you, you got like 99% like chance of getting punctured versus 1% chance. So there you go. And hey, this has some aesthetic value as well, especially when the fittings are on there. The next type of hose we got is other PTFE hose that's not Teflon core. This type of hose can take E85 or pump gas, but you don't really want to mix. You don't want to alternate from one to the other. I've heard rumors. I can't swear to it, but I've heard, I've read some information that that will break this hose down. This hose doesn't break down the one with the inner core. This PTFE without the inner core does break down. It does have some wire embedded in the material of the hose and then it's cloth braided for, a, for an, a nice aesthetic value, right? It looks pretty good. The last kind of hose we got here is a, a, a cloth weave bonded, no wire, and this is pump fuel only not E85 friendly, not methanol friendly, not race fuel friendly at all. And another drawback of this is that it weeps. Now what I mean by weeping is that you're going to have a, a fuel smell pretty much all the time. Sometimes it's going to seem a little stronger than others, but it's not leaking. It, that, that fuel smell actually weeps through the hose itself. I can attest to that because I use this kind of hose in, my, my, in one of my builds and I was shocked at how bad that fuel smell was. Especially if you put your car in the garage overnight or at extended periods of time and you open that garage door, you'd be afraid to light a match because it really smells like fuel, but it's not leaking. It's that weeping through the hose. This is push lock hose. Now let's get into the fittings. We have push lock fittings. We have compression type fittings for PTFE. And we have another PTFE with the inner core type fitting. All right, so let's match these hoses with the type of fitting. The hoses whether the whether steel braided or not and you have the inner core is always going to take what they call the fitting with the olive this is an olive it's actually a compression fitting and this is the fitting for that PTFE hose with inner core you cannot use this type of fitting for this kind of hose anything with that inner core this is not correct this is correct for inner core PTFE. This PTFE type hose without the inner core that can be used for methanol will take this kind of fitting, not a push lock fitting. It takes 
this kind of fitting. This is the correct fitting for this type of hose, PTFE, without the inner core. It is not push lock. No push lock on this kind of hose. The push lock fitting is this kind of hose with no inner core, no PTFE rating, no E85 rating at all. Pump gas only. Just push it in. Does not require a clamp, but recommended. But it's you push, just push it in, and, and you can see the way it's constructed. It's just going to grab that hose and not let go once it gets pushed in. And it's really hard to push in. You better use a lot of oil to push it in and, and get it in there. Otherwise, you're going to struggle like you wouldn't believe. Well, let's talk cutting hoses for a minute. Cutting hoses, it's always recommended that you put a, put a piece of tape where you're going to cut. You measure the hose and then put a piece of tape on the hose so the line that you want to cut would be in the middle of that tape. So you can keep it from fraying as best you can. Let me show you how that looks on each one of these types of hoses. I like to use I like to use duct tape. I know a lot of folks use black electrical tape, but whatever tape you either one works fine. You're going to apply the tape to the hose. So you want the tape to go beyond the point where you're going to cut. This is the best tool. You can use a hacksaw or other kind of cutting tools, but I use the grinder. And I'm going to cut right in the middle of that. Cut it. And that's how you cut it. It cuts pretty straight, and you can see there's no fraying. As far as the push lock goes, you want to cut this hose, it's the same way. Put some tape on it. Cut it. And after you got that cut, you can take the tape off. Take the push lock. Get some oil all over that thing. And push it home. PTFE hose with the inner core and you can see that inner core, Teflon inner core, so you're going to make a nice clean cut. See that? Nice and clean. Shave it off. And you really want to make sure that you get it flat as you can because inside of there, I don't know if you can see it, but this, that Teflon core has to go all the way through and butt up against the end of that. So let me take a moment and kind of show you how to put some of those fittings together real quick. Got a little smoky. And after you got that cut, you can take the tape off, take the push lock, get some oil all over that thing. And next, get some boiling water. Believe it or not, this is the best way to do it. And stick the hose in the boiling water for a few minutes. Let it get nice and steamy and hot. Next, taste, take that hot, hot hose and push it on the fitting. It is not easy. Push lock, I think, is the hardest ones to do. And in this type of hose, before you put the fitting on it, after you make the cut, you want to take the tape off. 
and you want to push the fitting in there so once you have it all the way up to the threads you've got the other side put a little bit of oil on there so it can slide through the hose a little easier for you push that in place and start the threads get your AN wrenches I got a 10 or I mean I got an 8 right here and you can start driving it home it's always nice to have a pair of wrenches so you can hold one side tight as you start screwing it home and you want to take that all the way down and finish the job by using the vise and a pair of vise jaws specially, specially designed for this type of work. And there you have it. The PTFE without the core and that fitting. And if you want to see how to put the PTFE fitting on the hose with the inner core, check out the video right down there. I'll give you a step-by-step walkthrough, and I'll see you in that video in just a moment. And thanks for watching.